Charles Van Sandwijk's artworks often blend the fantastical with the natural world, which is reflected in his first two books being a collection of fairy people of the forest and a selection of neighbourly birds from Canada. I've just finished preparing a collector's guide to Charles's works, and to celebrate, today's video looks at some of his beautiful avian illustrations by reviewing an assortment of his lovely handmade books that examine owls, crows, parrots and other feathered friends. Strange Birds is one of Charles's earliest books, with pen and ink drawings of exotic birds in art and poetry printed offset. It features French flaps and hand sewn pages. The book was released in 1991, with 700 copies in tan paper wraps and a further 300 in maroon wraps. Charles's first edition of Neighbourly Birds of the New World, Canada, was actually published in 1987 in a very small release of 120 copies. It's a collection of illustrations about different birds seen in Canada – robin, wren, warbler, crow, heron and pelican. The edition I'm showing here was actually released a bit later, in 1995. It's based on the original book, but includes 10 new colour illustrations. 2,000 copies were printed for this edition. Sketches from a Tropic Isle is a collection of annotated sketches of the Fiji Islands where Charles spends part of his time each year. The book was released in several variations, with laid on illustrations of a lizard, parrot, palm or turtle. This edition was limited to 1500 copies, with a small number also bound in leather and embossed in gold. Full Moon Eyes is a 2012 poem by the artist, subtitled An Ode to the Wisdom and Forbearance of Owls. It features several gorgeous owl illustrations and one bright painter mouse. The book's hand sewn with French flaps and the fold-out triptych is an owlish reinterpretation of a Life is Art work that was first developed in 1997. There were 2,000 copies of this edition released. I Believe, Two Poems and a Hidden Thought, also came out in 2012. The subtitle is printed backwards on the title page in mirror writing. A maroon coloured paper jacket was used for the standard edition, of which 2,000 copies were released. A limited edition of 125 copies in the green jacket also included a copper plate etching of Crow with Field Guide to Humans. The book also came with an adorable literary mouse bookmark.
the end papers are marbled, and the hidden thought is folded and sewn in under the flaps. Sketches from a Dream Island of Birds is another re-release of an earlier limited edition book. This hand-sewn edition in metallic card wraps from 2005 features tipped-in watercolour illustrations. This trade edition, which was released with 2,000 copies, also won an award in recognition of excellence for its superb craftsmanship. Splendid Crow, or Life is Art, Art is Life, is a small six-page booklet that opens out to reveal three wonderful tipped-in illustrations making a decorative triptych. The booklet was released in several different coloured wraps and internal page colourings, with just 20 printings of each. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the second video of Charles Van Sandwick's whimsical, wonderful small press art books. I look forward to sharing more beautiful books with you in the future. Do remember to hit the subscribe bell if you'd like to be notified of new videos. Till next time, bye!